Hello. Yes, I'm sitting in my main frame system and I have been victim of uh, the nightmare we're all afraid of. And that is to be the victim of ransomware. You see, this little device here has all of my files available over the internet and over the network using the QNAP server. It's been great. It also has two extra disks connected to it, which are constantly making copies to make sure that I have a backup in case this one fails, I always have a backup. So I thought all my files were safe until one day I opened up my machine and all my files were locked by a deadlock malware. And this was not my fault, believe it or not. This was QNAP's fault because QNAP headquarters in Singapore was just hit by a malware attack. Given the ransom of 50 bits, which is roughly uh, one, 1 million euros. I'm really sure. I'll put it on the screen, whatever it is. And I uh, was supposed to get a ransom note. Unfortunately, I didn't see the ransom note because QNAP had already removed the malware when I realized that I was attacked and also removed the ransom note, which left me in a predicament because I have here over four terabytes of files from 20 years back locked with an encrypted code that I can't unlock without a key. And the only way to get that key is to pay the ransom. Now, luckily the ransom for each individual is 0 0.03 bits or it's 0 0.05 bits, which is roughly between uh, 600 or 1000 euros. Now, you don't really want to support criminal activity like this, but if that's what I got to pay to release my files, I would because you have to realize they didn't just attack my QNAP. They also managed to hack the backups, which were connected to the QNAPs over USB. So I had a backup, but it was connected to the QNAP, which is f***ed up. So I walked up and was editing a video and I needed some music. So I went to my server, went to some of my uh, music library, and what I was met with was something like this. And all of them had the extension deadbolt and could not be opened. I had no idea what this was. So I went uh, to my QNAP server and figured out by watching the notifications here that on that Friday, QNAP had removed the deadbolt portal. I didn't really know what that was. And it also removed malware. I needed to restart the NAS, which it apparently did. And it removed high-risk malware, uh, immediately updated the QTS and took away authorization for the account that was hacked, which was my account. So I never really got to see uh, ransom notes or anything. And the thing is, this is my QNAP. All of these servers here, these first three are, are drives directly in the QNAP and these two are my backups, which constantly make pic like this one is just for pictures. And even them, all the files are hacked with a deadbolt ransomware. So the thing is, having backups didn't really help at all, as long as they're connected with the USB. Because they're constantly making backups. It was set up to with the, uh, the, the Quick Sync Central to make constant backups. And all of my other drives are also affected. If we just go to manual backups here, which is where I just dump all my project files, uh, here are projects 20 years back in the past with all the different uh, raw files. If I needed anything, I had everything here. The funny thing is that it didn't encode my SketchUp files, which is a good thing because I work a lot in SketchUp, so I'll have all my SketchUp files still. But it did deadlock all the CAD files, all the PDFs, all the JPEGs. It's all locked. So essentially, I have about, yeah, around four, 12 terabytes of bricks now, 
which I can't touch because I'm hoping I've sent a set of a, a request to QNAP to fix this. So this has been my conversation with QNAP. So my first message to QNAP. All my files on my QNAP NAS and connected USB disks has been encrypted with a deadbolt extension, including the backups. I never even knew of this issue before today. Apparently the malware was removed by QNAP malware remover Friday the 9th of September. This is over 20 years of files that I don't want to lose, but I do not, uh, but I cannot comply with the ransom because you removed the ransom page. How do I get my files unlocked? Dear customer, sorry to hear your NAS was encrypted. We understand your disappointment and the incident uh, caused your data loss and inconvenience. Okay. After investigating, we found malware use zombie networks attacks NAS, which exposed on the internet and focused old firmware applications to encrypt files uh, and ask for a ransom. I have automatic updates on my firmware. It should update automatically. So it should have the latest firmware. So that's bullshit. For your safety, QNAP suggests that NAS uh, keeps NAS in the latest firmware applications. I do. Always. Please understand there is no encryption tool so far. The only way is paying the ransom to uh, to the hackers to gain the password, which QNAP does not recommend as there is no guarantee you receive the correct password. Actually, there is a guarantee because if you pay your ransom uh, to this uh, Bitcoin account, it will automatically send back your key. And if that would not work, people would get a sniff of that really fast and people would stop paying. So that's not true. If you pay the ransom note, you will get a code. But of course, you don't want to support criminal networks. So I can understand uh, why QNAP wouldn't recommend doing it. QNAP can help you restore files from good backups or snapshots and re initialize the NAS. Well, you can't do that if the snapshots were connected to the NAS. QNAP su suggests steps below to enhance security. This is my response. NAS was set to an automatic update, so I had the latest firmware. I want to see the ransom note. Please restore the files and send me a screen grab text version so I at least have the option to pay. If I get a restore key, can you then decrypt it for me without reinstalling the malware? And yeah, my response, hi Thomas, thank you for your reply. Please confirm that you want us to try to recover the Deadpool page uh, to see if you'll be able to pay the ransom. If you get the key from the culprit, you can refer to this link for the procedure. Have a great day, keep safe. Thank you for your time and support. And I respond, I can confirm that I want you to recover the deadbolt page and see if I'll be able to pay the ransom as long as it can be done safely without reinfecting the NAS. Uh, mainly, I just need a text info. Is there any hope for you managing to crack the master key? Have you heard of ever using the MSF description uh, tool this time around? We got a guest. Have you heard of users being able to use Emersop decryption tool this time around? Which is the decryption tool they made in March when this happened last time. This is the third time this has happened to QNAP, by the way. Hi Thomas, thank you for reply. As per checking, the Deadpool page can no longer be retrieved on the NAS. It's weird because you removed it with your malware remover and it should quarantine the original files. Based on our image checking, this is a deadbolt bug that even using scripts can't retrieve. That doesn't make any sense. Apologies for the inconvenience. Uh, users are using m keys to decrypt their files. That works, in other words. Have a great day and keep safe. Thank you for your time and support. Worst sign off ever. Uh, didn't your mal malware quarantine it? All we need is the HTML with the account ID. That's what I asked for. Please try again, I responded later in the day. I respond again the day after. What I need is this text image. So this is taken from another page, which is the ransom note, which should should have displayed when I tried to log into my QNAP. Warning, your files have been locked by Deadbolt. What happened? All your files have been encrypted. It includes, but not limited to, photos, documents, and spreadsheets. Why me? This is not a personal attack. 
you have been targeted because of the inadequate security provided by your vendor, QNEP. What now? You can make a payment of exactly 0.03 bitcoins to the following address, and there's an address, but that's unique, so I can't use this address. Once this payment has uh, been made, we'll follow up with a transaction uh, on the same address. This transaction will include the decryption key as part of the trans transaction details. Uh, and it, it inf has information of how you can get that. So it, it does work. Uh, not executable, which they were trying to, to restore. Primarily, I want to see the sum and account number. Hoping to use MS, uh, MSoft's tools to decode. Unless, of course, you have a better idea on how I can retrieve my files. Yama replies. Hi, Thomas. Thank you for your reply. I have tried again, uh, but the page can't be restored. This has been escalated to our dev team for further checking. We'll keep you posted. Have a great day and keep safe. Thank you for your support. I reply, thank you. I hope they have better luck. I do uh, have backups of some files, which I put in this, which I put on uh, Dropbox to compare. Zero. Okay, what I did, Luckily, I have cloud backups of the last three years. So all my current files are okay. Uh, but I still have backups of those files on my NAS, which were encrypted. So what I have now is this folder, which I shared on Dropbox. It has the Amersoft program that you need to descript it. It has an example of a code, of the 32-bit code. This doesn't work in my files, by the way. It has my event log for my QNAP, uh, and it has the instruction on how to use Amersoft uh, codes. And then it has the encrypted files right here. I've put out, uh, took out 17 files of different variations from PDFs, docs, uh, zips, JPEGs, movies. And then I put uh, the original files in another folder which are not locked. So my hope was that you could use this as sort of a Rosetta Stone and compare the files and figure out the combination between them. So I'm waiting. Uh, hopefully QNAP will find a solution to this. So I'm not touching my NAS server until I got a definite no, we can't do anything more. They're still working on it. I also wanted to put this out on the internet to you guys. If you can download this Dropbox, which I have put a link to in the description, and somehow using your magical skill as a hacker or a programmer to figure out what the key is to descript it with the Emerson's, uh, Emerson's decryption tools, I will pay you half of the ransom because I can't afford all of it. Now, I know that there is a lot of hackers on YouTube that try to make you contact them on Instagram or give you access to your computer remotely and stuff like that. That's not going to happen. So if you want to hack this, you can download this uh, Dropbox and try to hack these files, which I've given to you openly. My computer and access to my server remotely is not going to happen for anybody else but QNAP. So don't even think about that. And uh, all the... The bots and the uh, spam that are coming in the co these comments will be deleted immediately. To make this legal, all the rules of this competition will be down in the description. I would rather pay a talented, good hacker than these criminals. So please, give it a shot if you want to challenge. Now I have to go back to my paternity leave. Then she is the reason why you haven't heard have that many videos from me lately. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to. And I guess I will talk to you next time. Say goodbye. Bye.